Irish guy, and I've already spoken about the Manchester City crisis. I mean, I'm guessing Noel Gallagher has probably spent this week punching a birthday cake and smashing his guitar off the fridge. I don't hate Manchester City, and I do feel for their fans. Well, um, most of their fans. Oh, that tastes so sweet. What? Why do I dislike Boofy? Gee, wonder why? But lads, Pep Guardiola is currently odds on to quit the club. Right now, that threat is dangling over the city fans. I mean, it's better like being married to a woman who threatens that if she finds out that, yes, you were the one who took a wee in her soup, then she'll be fighting for divorce. Guardiola is the dream manager. This man is a five-star Hall of Famer coach, someone who's going to go down in history as one of the greatest coaches of all time. I mean, Josie Mourinho is another one, although for some weird reason, people don't pay much attention to him at Roma. Everyone seems like he's just a weary old man. I've been like if you Save Santa Claus, someone who's got outdated tactics that belong in 2004. By the way, you're all completely wrong, and I am here for the Phoenix return of Mourinho. But Guardiola, if these allegations are true about Man City, then he is leaving. And like my dad, he won't be coming back. He is 100% storming out the door at the Eddie Hat, and can you imagine how angry he will be? He'll essentially have just wasted seven years of his life. I mean, lad, Fabio Capello probably feels pretty disgusted still that both of his Serie A titles as Juventus boss were both chucked in a bin alongside a family of pregnant rats. Make no mistake about it, Capello was a legitimate serial winner. No, this wasn't like a blind man cheating at Monopoly. I mean, the guy had already proved it by winning Serie A with Roma in his previous job. The man did not need people to pay off refs to get Juventus to win the league and similarly Guardiola is a brilliant enough coach to get Man City to win the Premier League if they are playing by the financial fair play rules. Well can you imagine if his achievements just get chewed apart by Premier League lawyers? Honestly if all of this is proven to be true the guy is probably gonna trash the club canteen. The man won't go quietly it'll unleash his inner Roy Keane and probably take a golf club to the city CEO's Bentley. Honestly lads we could be about to witness the most ugly breakup in Premier League history. Guardiola has said that if the city owners are pretty Proven to have lied to him about their innocence, then he would walk out that door. And then what? What sort of manager are Man City going to attract if they're in the championship? You're probably guessing that they'll now be begging for Joey Barton or Vincent Company. Maybe a return for Mark Hughes? Nearly 15 years after being sacked? No. Relax. Look at Juventus when they were relegated in 2006. Sure, Capello might look like an emotionless postman Pat. He looks like someone who probably hasn't cried since 1991. Honestly, he's got less of a sense of humour than the Terminator. But can you imagine, after realising that they just wasted two years of his life at the Stadio della P? Oh, I would not be surprised to hear that he instantly punched the Juventus chairman in the nose. Sure, the guy might look like if Jeremy Clarkson was born without a personality. But for that one afternoon in 2006, yeah, he was probably like a four-eyed Hulk. He stormed out the door to Real Madrid where he would go on to win another league, but also bore the Spanish to the verge of tears, and Juventus. You're probably thinking that they were just forced to hire some nobody coach with the pedigree of a bowl of cat food. No, 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 no. Despite the disgrace, Juventus are still a big enough club to attract Didier Deschamps. You know, the man who'd just taken Monaco to a Champions League final, the same promising coach who'd one day win the World Cup. Juventus were still a massive enough name for Deschamps to overlook the fact that they were... A disgrace. In the same way, I'm guessing that someone like Brad Pitt could be found breaking into zoos at night to drink zebra piss. The tabloids could discover that he also drinks his own grandmother's sweat for breakfast. Yeah, doesn't matter. He's still gonna find himself a Hollywood wife. So Man City, even if they are thrown into a league with Sunderland, Preston, and Birmingham, they will still find a coach to hire who's above the level of the championship. This is my prediction now. In February 2022, remember this, future generations, because I feel like I'm gonna look like a genius. Listen, company is actually a decent shout, but I reckon by the time these sanctions actually happen, that man is gonna be flying and already at a monster Champions League club. Honestly, I think he's the next coach of Russia Dortmund, so I reckon company will be out of reach maybe there might be rumors of a return for Patrick Vieira which is a shout too and honestly could happen but I think the next Man City manager is Rafa Benitez why not this is a man obsessed with the Premier League. He's been coach of Liverpool, Chelsea, Newcastle, Everton. He's always been linked to both Arsenal and West Ham. He's a pragmatic respected name in European football who guess what has already won the championship title with Jack Colback in midfield. For him, this league is not a terrifying, horrible hellhole. Cause yeah, many other huge coaching names might be scared of stepping foot in this league. For them, it'd be like having a picnic in the Forbidden Forest. Stepping foot in the lowly depths of the championship. For them, it's been like a posh prince being forced to shake hands with a homeless man. Yeah, that Benitez snob will probably just be terrified of being infected by the poor. But Benitez, 
he wouldn't be scared of this league. He'd be an hour drive from his family home in Merseyside. Sure, he wouldn't be playing pretty football. But I'm sorry, so? Manchester City will be in survival mode. About 15 senior pros will be ditching the club. So you're just gonna need to win. Lad, Benitez has beaten Man City seven times in his career, so... Why not? I think this man is it. The next Man City boss. When he's nearly 70 years old. Right now, I know that some Man City fans will honestly be spreading vomit out their nose. Going from Guardiola to Benitez. It's like choosing to watch a fun, light-hearted classic like Pirates of the Caribbean. So then, choosing to stick on a DVD of Schindler's List. Or... Joker. Yes, Benitez's brand of football is probably pretty depressing when compared to Pep, but I don't care. Survival mode. But where is Pep going to go? By the way, if you're new here, then just subscribe, you absolute legends. But also, this video is sponsored by Wash and Go. Lads, I am telling you, this thing here is an absolute lifesaver. This will save your hair. Honestly, it will, okay? Lads, how many times have you walked about with stinky, sticky hair and had people vomit in the streets? For me, too many times to count until I discovered these beautiful people. Lads, this is the Wash & Go 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner, which is the ultimate time saver for busy people on the go. And I know how busy you are. Yeah, busy enough to be wasting 10 minutes of your day listening to a crazy Irishman rant in a cave. Okay, no, 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 I'm sorry. Listen. This is, this is going to save your life. The Wash & Go 2-in-1 formula combines the cleansing power of shampoo with the health care benefits of conditioner. All in one convenient step. This means that you can get clean, healthy looking hair without the hassle of using multiple products. Look how healthy this hair looks! Look at it! The 2-in-1 shampoo and conditioner is formulated with nourishing ingredients that work to strengthen and moisturize your hair, leaving it soft, shiny, and manageable. So soon you'll have old ladies wanting to kiss your hair in the streets. Go out there and get it. Link in the description. Back into the video. People are going to be chucking international jobs in his face. But that's going to be messy. The guy said he wants to do international management, but not with Spain. I mean, he's a Catalan. England is obviously a dream pick for the English, but then I just know you'll have some burger munching oiks down a pub in Wigan complaining that we need to have an English manager. I'm sorry. It's are the FA really going to reject him at a job interview to instead appoint Frank Lampard or Stevie G? I mean, what? This is the same FA that tried to get Mikel Arteta to play for England. Manuel Almunia was considered to be an England goalkeeper. And they were trying to fix a British passport for Adnan Yanazai. Someone whose name sounds like something you'd find on a menu at a Hungarian restaurant. But, so Guardiola won't be England boss. The Netherlands is an option because, you know, Johan Cruyff? I guess? Oh, come on, lads. This is a post that was recently held by Frank the Boar. Someone with the brains of a chocolate milkshake. Sure, I know there is a huge Barca connection with the Holland FA right now. Because the last three managers have either played for or managed Barcelona in their careers. But, I mean, if Pep's Man City achievements are now just rotting in an urn, do you not think you'll want to go out there and start winning things again? Instead of spending 40 weekends a year watching Eredivisie football in the cold, just munching on some undercooked pie at Sparta Butter Dam, Juventus is a club that has followed Pep's whole career. And yes, seeing an absolute demigod of a coach managing such a historic and famous European powerhouse makes sense on paper. But there is no way that Guardiola, having had his faith in football stung at Man City, no way would he choose to join another club who've had more scandals than Logan Paul. PSG is an option, but again, the president was literally recently on trial for corruption charges in Switzerland. I mean, we just had a World Cup in Qatar where people like Thogden were almost viewed as the Antichrist just for choosing to sit in his seat. Guardiola will not be getting the bet with PSG after this. No, it makes no sense. Lads, if Pep is truly feeling bitter and nasty, move to Manchester United after Eric Ten Hag. If he feels that betrayed, that angry, then yeah, I mean, it'd be like getting off with your XY sister behind a bus stop, but still. Can you imagine Arsenal versus Manchester United? That 90s rivalry reignited. No longer is it Wenger versus Fergie. No, no, it's Arteta versus Pep. Honestly, the very thought of that, it tastes like delicious burger meat in my mouth, but I don't think Pep is that spiteful. So no, but imagine how dramatic it would be if he does. It'd be like something of Holly Oaks. A return to Barcelona is an obvious option, but they're another crisis club. Lads, these amazing world-class managers usually are able to twin themselves with a, a world-class club at the peak of their powers. Go back to 2010. There was no more obvious a move than Jose Mourinho 
Treble winner at Inter Milan, obviously getting a move to Real Madrid to coach the modern day Galactic Coast. I mean, the previous summer, they just had a ridiculous spending spree. Mourinho was the obvious, obvious choice, but I've just listed a bunch of massive European clubs who are all in a bit of a mess. There is no obvious path for Pep to go on. And you know what? I reckon Pep Guardiola regrets moving to Bayern Munich when he did. Because don't forget, Bayern announced in January 2013 that Guardiola will be taking the job in the summer. This was just six months after Bayern Munich had just bottled the Champions League final against Chelsea in their own stadium. They hadn't actually won the European Cup since 2001. So Guardiola was going to be the man bringing him in to restore Bayern Munich to European greatness. No wonder he took the job. But then the worst possible thing could have happened. In those four months where he was waiting to take over in the summer, Bayern Munich went and won the treble. So, I mean, what more could he have done? Now, Pep had to win the Champions League again at the bare minimum. Otherwise, the whole thing is viewed as a failure. Honestly, if Guardiola had just taken the job in the summer of 2012, then, then he could have been a Bayern Munich legend. But no, he accepted the post too late. Honestly, like, this man probably did improve Bayern Munich on the pitch. But I mean, Bayern Munich were reigning European champions and in Pep's debut season, we're losing a Champions League semi-final second leg 4-0 at home to a team coached by Mourinho. Yeah, wasn't a great look. I'm gonna say Pep is going to move to Serie A, but not to Juventus. I'm gonna say this, Roma. I mean, the guy already ticks the box of being a former player. Um, he played for them four times in 2002. Joey Mourinho will restore this club to greatness. He'll have them back in the Champions League before he then quits for the Premier League. So Guardiola, why not? Why not get your knuckles wet in Italian football? Taking the reins from Jose and trying to do what nobody's done since Fabio Capello, which is win Roma the league. Before, ironically, he went and chose to join Juventus and got relegated. But honestly, I'm telling you that that is Guardiola's next club. Sure, I mean, he'll take a massive pay cut because the man earns 19 million pounds a year. Mourinho earns 4 million a year in Rome. But honestly, I think he'll be moved to Italy. Maybe, maybe he will choose AC Milan. Maybe there is too many Mourinho fingerprints all over the likes of Inter Milan and Roma. So yeah, maybe it will be AC. And actually, the more I think about it, yeah, Guardiola does belong at a European club with seven Champions Leagues to their name. They are footballing royalty. Ozzy lads, it'll be either Roma or AC Milan. That is Pep's next club. Just mark my words. Uh, now that I've said that, I'll probably just wind up at Marseille or Norwich. Anyway, that's been one thing. Let me know in the chat. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Where will Pep Guardiola go next? Let me know. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, as always. I'll talk to you in a while.